Hi there YouTube, in this video I'm going to try and explain how to save battery on uh, Samsung Galaxy S3 or any of the Android phones. Now, a lot of these Samsung phones, they, I mean, people complain that their battery drains quite fast and uh, especially Samsung Galaxy S3, despite having one of the greatest battery so far in any of the smartphones, um, it uh, actually drains down quite fast. So we're going to go try looking into the ways of how to try to save battery. Well, I've already known this for quite a long time because I've been an Android user for a long time. But in this one, uh, we're just going to explore some of the options. Okay, here we go. Okay, well, there's this application called... Advanced Task Killer. Now, some phones actually come with this uh, application preloaded. Most of the phones you actually have to download it yourself. Now, you can go to any of the um, uh, websites or just go like you have to obviously have to have uh, an email account set up with um, the the uh, Live Store, or uh, you can actually just download it from one of the websites and just uh, load it onto the SD card or via data cable and install this application once again it's called advanced task killer it's actually a completely free of charge application and uh, all it does is that it um, on a, it, it basically kills all the application that running on the background draining your battery and obviously slowing down your uh, smartphone so here in this um, application we have a lot of options now we're just gonna go into the options menu sorry go back in that and on the actual Android you can just uh, sorry my, my apologies uh, on the actual uh, Samsung Galaxy S3 you can just press the menu button there and obviously it will bring out all the options what we need to do is go into the setting in the setting we have auto start option we have a notification option set item height ignore list ignore services front etc and uh, double click action and uh, well we've got quite a few options as you can see now one of the most important option that you have to have on is auto start now what it does is obviously it just um, auto start the application so you don't exactly have to turn this application on or go into it in order to um, kill the uh, background applications and uh, the other option you have is show notification now what this does is is actually um, it actually tells you when uh, it has killed the application etc etc now um, you don't really have to have that on but having that on it doesn't really actually make any difference so I actually keep it on all the time set item height not something important ignore list again not something uh, important if you want to keep that if you for example if you have applications uh, for example anything that I have like a planner or anything that whether it drains battery or not but you want to put it on ignore list uh, like messaging uh, if you turn, uh, if you put the messaging on ignore list, then any other messages that appears, it will uh, notify you. Or if you have the, um, if you have any, uh, if you don't have the messaging service on that, then it will actually kill any of the uh, default applications too. It will literally kill every and any application that is using your battery or using your memory. So. Having like messaging, the I mean these are the default thing. For example, contacts, messaging, Google Play Store, and uh, some of the other applications are actually already um, um, on the list. So I don't actually have to add them. But you can add any of the application. For example, if you would like um, Skype to be on this list, all you can do is uh, um, just add Skype into that. So uh, that's the. Uh, automatic um, ignore list like uh, if you just want to ignore some of the program that you would like to for example for Skype or any other BBC news or anything that you've got um, you can just uh, put them on ignore list and this application won't actually kill them um, 
again, ignore services and front tab. Um, it just like default system setting sort of thing. Stuff like uh, funds and uh, any any of the additional stuff um, that can uh, that displays your telephones or your settings and stuff like that, like Wi-Fi or any other uh, any other uh, default features. This uh, having this uh, ignored, it what it will do is it will just ignore all the default settings and applications and services that comes. I mean that is the system for it, the Android system for it to run run smoothly. It will just ignore those now. Again, we right now we're not going through all of these options, but uh, we're just going to some of the um, some of the main ones now. Auto kill level now that is something really important, at least for me anyway. Now what it is is that on an auto kill level, right now, uh, just to show you this, uh, we I had this uh, disabled, but I usually keep this on crazy. Well, you got four level disabled, safe, aggressive, and crazy. Now, what these things do is, is if you have that disable, auto kill level is like how, how, like, what sort of um, application do you want to kill? Do you want to be safe? Like, you don't want to kill the default um, system stuff or some of the application that like you're constantly using and stuff. Then you can just put on safe, and what it will do is it will ignore, it will kill any application that you haven't used for a while, and uh, that's it. Otherwise. You can put on aggressive, and that will obviously kill even the uh, often used application. Even if it's uh, if you use it often enough, it will still kill it. However, if I like to put it on crazy, now maybe that's because I'm crazy myself. Now, oh, oops, it disappeared. There we go. Yeah, uh, for a kill level. Now, having it on crazy, what it does for me is because I use this phone. For quite few purposes, um, I even use a team viewer to access my computer and stuff like that. I have it on crazy, so as soon as I'm out of an application, including a game or anything like that, it just kills it for me, depending on uh, what sort of a frequency I've got it set on. So, having it on crazy works for me. So, I'll just leave it on crazy, and uh, that way it will just literally kill every application that I'm not currently using. And that's absolutely fine. It's not like. Uh, it uh, like destroys anything or any other backup data or um, anything on that line so it's absolutely okay now we've got kill frequency and that is how often do you want it to just go around on a killing rampage and kill all your application uh, I usually have it uh, set on um, every half an hour rather than a screen off because sometimes for example I'm watching a movie and uh, that takes, for example, for me to two hours to finish the movie, or I'm just constantly using my phone. I don't want the screen to be turned off in order for this program to kill the, um, you know, additional program that's running at the back. So what I do is I have that on uh, killing frequency on every half an hour base. As you can see, you've got like five options. Having a screen off, what it does is that if you don't constantly, if you're not constantly using it, if you don't often use your phone for like longer than a few minutes and stuff, then what it does is you can have it on the screen off. What it would do is every time you turn the screen off, it will kill all the applications. However, um, if you're using your phone for any purposes like telephone conversation, writing along messages, or for whatever crazy stuff that you do, and uh, you don't get off the phone for more than half an hour I recommend you keep it on every half hour and that way it will just kill the every I mean kill all the application every half an hour and uh, that actually works for me so I'm gonna keep it on that and then obviously you've got security level now here I don't exactly um, don't exactly um, use this for that purpose I mean what it actually does is is that uh, it defines that uh, I mean you how how much of your memory gets used by these applications now for example if you have the security level on high what this thing does is oops, what this thing does is uh, how much applications uh, how much applications you can run at the, at the background now if you're having uh, way too many applications this thing will just go on again killing spree and call kill all the applications and uh, have your memory free. Now I've got this all set for example um, on the best of the services I keep I can go back and uh, 
for example. Now I have these many um, applications running at the back. Now when we started, I didn't have that many um, applications. Now all of a sudden, all these applications came from nowhere. Now, as you could see, my memory, which is over 200 plus, is right now only 101 megabyte. And uh, autokill was set on well, 4.56 a.m. Now, autokill will work on 4.56 a.m. right now is obviously uh, 4.27. On 4.26, all this application will be killed. But right now, I'd rather kill them myself. Now, all I have to do is press this button here. And it will just basically kill all the applications that were running at the back. Except for the, some of the main ones. Now, I've got none of the applications that are running. And my memory, which was, sh um, sorry for the shaky camera, I've got a shitty iPhone that I'm making this uh, video with. Um, now available memory is 181 megabyte. Again, at the autokill level, uh, autokill time set is 558. At that time, it will automatically kill all the applications. And uh, here, we have um, just one application running, which is uh, advanced task clear itself. Even this application you can kill simply by holding it, kill application, and uh, it's asking me do I want to force stop this application because right now it's computing and stuff. Uh, if I say yes, it will just uh, force to stop the actual application itself. It will kill itself and boom, out of it. There, we have uh, now, I just restarted that, and there we have a uh, Less memory now because uh, I'm, I must have gotten a Facebook update. Kill the unnecessary application again. Go back to that. Now I've got more memory freed. Um, so that's it. This application, it's a lifesaver. I use it all the time. I have it all active all the time. And uh, with this, I save a lot of battery. Now, I'm going to make another video um, explaining there are some options. You can, unnecessary options. If you don't use them, you can turn them off. And that way you can also save a lot of battery because I hear my friends and all my mates complaining about oh how the battery in the Samsung Galaxy S3 is completely rubbish, it drains down quite fast and uh, blah blah blah. Um, personally I've never had that problem, I mean I've been using iPhones for a long time and uh, uh, I would say this battery actually lasts me a lot longer than iPhone despite having much bigger and better display, despite having a uh, much faster operating system and everything else it actually runs quite smoothly and never actually has caused me any any other problems so I made that video for some of my friends and for the rest of you people uh, who would uh, like to find out how to have your um, Samsung Galaxy S3 or any of the Android phones run faster safe battery and uh, frankly just have a you know better phone so uh, once again this is the application, it's called Advanced Task Killer and uh, you can just download it from um, uh, any of the um, any of the website, you can simply go to Play Store that's the um, Android market uh, Marketplace and there you can just download this application completely free of charge and that will save you a lot of hassle of uh, battery draining and rest of the com uh, you know your phone being slow blah 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 all of these options so that's it all right thanks for watching and uh, please don't forget to subscribe and uh, press the like button if you like the video or you can dislike it i would recommend absolutely not so thanks a lot bye bye